Dash Radio is on and in studio. A very special guest with us today. Please give it up for Kirsten Clark. Oh, yeah. 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 Introduction, though. How are you? Good. I um. Did you like that? It's like a one-man band here, as far as the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, though. It's like intimate moments, like Ricardo and Kirsten Collins. Um. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. First of all. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. How are uh, how are things going before we get into the new single? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're really good. You know, honestly, you know, it's it's. This is an interesting business that we do, and it's always completely challenging and changing, and I think that I love that about it, but it's exciting and fresh, so I'm having a good time. Yeah. I uh, First of all, thanks for also for the invite to your um, the single premiere party. Of course. That Come was on, awesome. Why would you not be there? Come <laughs> on. <laughs> and uh, thanks for yeah having me host the red carpet for you guys. That was awesome. You did amazing. Thank you. You, and looked, you looked fly too. So that did was I? I you, you know did. what? I spent some time trying to pick out that pink like tight button up. It worked. Did it, it work? Did it work? It worked. It matched me. Okay, with my pink hair. It did. All right, That's you right. understood. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> That's right. You looked amazing, by the way. Thank you. I even had the glitter in my hair. You did. Do you I still have like, it in there? I, you know, I think there's always like two left in there. <laughs> you want to shake your head a little bit? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is. Dang it! That's the last of my life. <laughs> um, what was the feedback you got after that that event? Honestly, it was such good feedback. Even being there, just the people who came, even on short notice of just being like, I'm there for you. It was so much fun. I don't. Yeah. I, I was in shock most of it, especially having my first pink carpet. Yeah. Um, I was like, wow, like this is ridiculous. But um, I started getting a lot of people interested in me and the song, and it was just great. And now I'm starting my own jewelry line from it. Well, oh, hang, hang on. <laughs> what? Does anybody know about this? No, no, no. This is exclusive. This is exclusive. This is exclusive. Dash right radio. Now. <laughs> exclusive jewelry line. Well, I hold spit that. it out. Can you <laughs> can you hold that thought and can we talk about yeah, that yeah, at the we, end? We can, we can. Um, but going back to that event, I'm not a singer, I'm not a comedian, I just host. Like, what is it like having the support from so many friends and um professionals and family all there for you? I What's mean, that feeling like? It's overwhelming. It's so special. I think that um, you can't do this without people like that in your life. And um, I wanted to cry about 10 times probably that night. And I was like, no, I paid for makeup. Yeah. <laughs> it I doesn't do waterproof. It doesn't waterproof me. Yeah. Um, but it was just, you know, it, it inspires me to have people like that in my life even. And it was so much fun. I got to engage. It was crazy because while I was performing, you remember it rained. The speaker yeah. yelled at me. Yeah. Like a bunch of things were trying to be like, nah, Kirsten, you can't enjoy this moment. But... It was just without them there laughing. You made it happen. There, it happened. Yeah, so. um, and also you're very you and you and your family. I mean, you guys are very spiritual people. Yes. So how does that help you in your career and you personally? I mean, it, it honestly it protects and it pursues it. I think that it gives purpose to the very meaning of what we do. I think without purpose, you're only just walking around in circles. Like, what am I doing this for? And yeah. Uh, so it grounds you, and, and I, I love to watch as God utilizes what I do for others, and so it's really cool. And I think like everybody else there, we're all wondering, like, how is she not the biggest star in the world yet? Your oh, vo- I mean, thank you. <laughs> everybody watching right now, we all know that your vocals are inc- incredible. Yeah. You're an incredibly talented person in the singer, songwriter. And the question I asked your mom was, how are we not seeing her in billboards yet? And that was her response. It was... Yeah. We think God has a plan for her. It's not yet, but yeah. she's well on her way, and this is the beginning. Yeah, my mom is a G. Like, if Don't I cry. Was, I'm, 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 Don't I'm, cry. I'm, 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 grown men are supposed to cry, not me. Grown <laughs> women cry, too. <laughs> grown women do cry. It's important <laughs> that we cry, okay? Yeah. Um, but it's honestly so true. The amount of things that I've had to you know, say no to that most people would be like, no, yes, um, just because you, you, there's so much underlying everything that's out there. And I think that without looking deeper into anything, then we're, we're going in blindly. And, and having discernment in everything that we do is so important because then it, it's long lasting. And if I, if I want to be legendary because I want to cause a cultural change, yeah. then there requires sacrifices in that. And so it's a longer process. 
and it's hard, but it's so worth it. It's worth it in the end. It is worth it. And, uh, you know, I can relate as, as far as moving out to LA as well. Like, yeah. you know, living here, I think it's like four or five years already. Yep. And it's like the ball's barely rolling. It, yeah. It's not going to happen overnight. No, it doesn't happen overnight. But it, but if but you see the movement, like that's the right. crazy part. It's like, you know, the movement is happening, even if it's not visual out front. It's happening in like even the frequencies of the air. You're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> I felt that one. I love the vibes, <laughs> the palm vibe. tree vibes, <laughs> <laughs> the sand in my fingers, the L.A. Hollywood vibes. <laughs> um, what inspired the song? What inspired the song? This is this is a funny question because um, it goes on Give me two a funny different answer. sides. Well, it started off with um, an essence of I love. I mean, as a performer, you have to love attention in some manner. Um, but I All of one us. of my one of my insecurities was needing attention, mm. and um, so the story regards in, into a girl or a person um, who she draws energy and attention from people in order to feel worthy of herself. And um, in the end realizes that she doesn't need to take other people's happiness or gladness or attention or whatever she is hungry for Mm -hmm. um, to be beautiful and to be amazing. And so um, it also goes to the portion of how men are usually not allowed to be vulnerable and so often are taught that it's not okay to have an emotional standpoint on anything other than anger. Um, So it's, it's, giving that release of being able to be exposed because vulnerability creates a whole healing process of things. <sighs> and so it. it's, yeah, right. Um, so it's just a bunch of stuff in the midst, but it's also quirky and it's funny. So it it's relatable, you know, it is, it's not like, bam. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I, um, I, I was in the car. I think it was the day after that event Yep. and your song is a huge hit by the way. Thank it's a you. huge hit <laughs> Thank because I heard um, this is something new for Kirsten Collins. And I think we were talking about that on the carpet as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about the comparison that you gave me. Yeah. But I heard um, one of Fergie's songs and I was yep. like, oh, I love this song. But I was thinking about your song. Really? Yeah, because she has a part where like you break into yep. the like the rap mm-hmm. and that's what Fergie had. And I was like, oh, I love this song so much. I was like, wait, Oh my God, I'm thinking about Kirsten's song. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. But I'll take that as a huge compliment because. Yeah, it's I a mean, compliment for me. <laughs> compliment for all of us. <laughs> um, what was the comparison you made? It's like. <sighs> I said, like. You, get a, you gave a rapper. Like Kendrick. Yeah, Lamar Kendrick. With like an Amy Winehouse. Exactly. And a JT production vibe. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty much it. With a, but like, still a pop element of Rihanna. Yes. So it's very, it's very a mix of a pot of like, here is Kirstenism. And then with a bunch of spice of Kirsten. Yeah. Right. Collins. Like here it is. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what's next? Jewelry line. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Oh man, the jewelry line. Um. So yes, I'm preparing for jewelry line. I can't say say the details yet. Okay. But um, I'm so excited for this because. I, I love to be a businesswoman. I feel like yeah. entertainment is all aspects and, and to dip your fingers in a lot of different things, but be educated and learn and always be hungry for that is so important. Yes. Um, so I never thought I in my life that I would do a jewelry line. Never in my in my life. Uh-huh. But I'm wearing one of the pieces right now and it's a crown and if it's simple. I love it. And it's very beautiful. Um, but the thing about it is that the crown represents kingdom purpose and seeing yourself as a daughter or son of the most high and and even if even if you don't believe in god that's okay like the, it's like the world's protection over you in that and um so i just everything that i do has to be in that involvement of my main goal is for people to see who they are and their yeah. identity and how god made them and so i'm excited about it it's Me too. gonna be starting this, i'm getting so hyped i know right i'm like oh my god <laughs> um, it's gonna be starting i think Soon, so the details will be all on the social medias. So keep up to date with that one. Maybe we'll keep get up Ricardo. on the social medias. Yeah, keep on the social media. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's good. And then I'm on a TV show coming up that we're preparing for. So uh, give it to me. What <laughs> what TV show are you on? Um, it's called Breakthrough. Okay. Um, it's gonna be starting to film next year, so I'm very excited about that. There's there, it's gonna be on CW. I'm pretty sure it was on IMDb, but they have to fix some details. Person, I didn't so. get I didn't get these notes. Is this? Are you just like spitting all the exclusive stuff out today? What's going on? <laughs> these are the exclusive lives for Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's rewind a little bit. So you're on a show. You start filming next year. It's gonna be on the CW. What's your role? 
I mean, I'm one of the main characters. Oh, my God. So it's really dope. Um, I'm, I'm, like, freaking out inside because I have so much that I'm doing and I've been preparing that I don't always know to, like, just express that that I'm doing because until it's, like, on Well, yeah, I didn't even have these <laughs> prep notes. I didn't know this no was going notes, on. No prep notes, you know. <laughs> In the future, I'll be making my own restaurant. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I just opened my new restaurant. <laughs> Kirsty Collins. Yeah, right. Kirsty Yars. And, Kirst- no, it's, no, it's called Cheesy B. Okay. KC Buffet. Yeah, right. Buffet. <laughs> buffet. We'll go with Buffet. Buffet. Nice aesthetic. KC Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you, what's the show? Can you talk about that? Um, I think I can tell you what I know. It's called Breakthrough. So it's kind of like an American Idol um, backstory. Okay. So it's scripted and um, I get to sing on it as well as act. So it's a double- Thing. This is your breakthrough. Yeah, breakthrough. This is my breakthrough. You know Don't what? worry about it, though. I almost got emotional thinking after you start filming this and after this airs, watching this interview back and oh saying, this God. is your breakthrough, this and this is, is literally breakthrough. the breakthrough. No, seriously, though, I, I feel it in my bones. I feel it, too. And I, I think this goes back to what your mom was saying. Like, although this has taken some time, God has had a plan for her, and this is the breakthrough. Yes. Oh, Ricardo, why? Why are you trying to make me? Cry. No, don't no, hold it in because I'm also an emotion. Grown okay. men do cry, do just cry? so you know. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? No. Um, and, and do you know the character? Do I know the character? Do you know what character you're going to be playing? Is this going to yes. be Kirsten Collins? No, it, her name's Hope. Hope, okay. Yes, and so um, I don't know if I can say much about it, but uh, I get to draw out a lot of emotional standpoints that I people don't usually get to see with me because usually I show a lot of hello right um, uh, so it's <gasps> gonna be cool for and a whole another element of what I am capable of or what I feel you know I'm can you describe the personality of the character I don't know if I'm allowed to do that yet okay we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait. I okay. don't I don't want to get beat on my doorstep oh know? absolutely <laughs> so basically all, all you said right now is people are used to the like ah, Kirsten are, Collins and, and that is who you are you're a very bubbly sure. person yep. So I could only assume that we're going to get a, a, a new look into who you are on this show. Yes. Just be like, dun, dun, dun. Kirsten, I love you so much. I love you too. And um, good luck in all of your endeavors and, and singing on the show and the jewelry line. Thank you. Are you going to have anything for men? Yes, I'm going to prepare that. Oh my God. Please yes, send it my way. I'll be like, yo, Ricardo, though. As soon as possible. Give me a watch or something, a <laughs> ring, I'll wear whatever you make. Whatever it is. Okay. Uh, Kirsten Collins in the studio, and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so yeah. much for having right. me. Well, you were talking me up under pressure. And I don't know what you're doing, but I like it. I got a feel for what you want, what you want.